When you become an Amazon seller, there are a few key things to know about selling your first product. If you're ready to make your first listing, but don't know where to start, you've come to the right place. This video is a detailed step-by-step -step FBA tutorial on how to list your first product on Amazon in 2020. Before we continue, I want to get a free resource into your hands that'll help you with your FBA business. Download our free mini course in the link below. Okay, so now we're in Seller Central and we're gonna list the product. So what you're gonna do is, one of the best things I can recommend as far as listing a product, your first product on Amazon, is actually an already existing product. And you can find a new product, which we're gonna show in a little bit, but I'm gonna show you right now just to find an existing product that's already selling on Amazon and how to list that. So and the reason I recommend uh, selling an existing product that's already there is you don't have to generate marketing for it. You don't have to launch it. It already has sales history. All you have to do is find that product at a lower price and then sell it on Amazon at a higher price. It's one of the you know easiest ways really to make money. So the way that you're gonna do that is I found a product here on Amazon and at the top of every product on Amazon, it has what's this number right here is B zero number. It always starts with B zero. That is called the ASIN. That's Amazon's identifying number for a product. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that number. And as I go into Amazon and I just go right from the main dashboard in Seller Central, uh, I just click add a product right here. Okay. And, and I just put that right in there and I click search. And there it is right there. Quick lim listing limitations apply. Quick sell yours. And then you can just put the uh, SKU. And for a SKU, you, you can put, uh, for example, like the, uh, the supplier. So let's say I got it at Walmart, so I put WM. The date I got it, let's say October uh, 19th. And then let's say I paid uh, $220, I put 220. So that way I know, you know, I can tell all that information in the SKU and I can just look it up. And that way I have to go chase them for it later down the road. And then you select item condition. I'm gonna select new. And I'm going to sell it for, let's say $529. And then they have the option of shipping the item yourself, uh, which I'm gonna select, or Amazon what's gonna ship the item yourself. All I have to do is just put the quantity that I have. So I'll say three and click save and finish. And your product is active and that's it. Okay, now let's assume that it is a brand new product that you wanna to bring to the marketplace and it doesn't already have existing sales history. And so that's what we're gonna show you right now. Now, like I said, for a lot of folks, I don't really recommend this method. It's so much easier to do it the way I just showed you where you can find the product that already has sales history, already has uh, you know volume going for it, uh, already has brand recognition. All you have to do is find a lower price, list it on the same listing, and it's gonna sell. Now, as long as you're in comparable uh, price options, right? If you try to sell for too much, it's not gonna sell. But uh, if you do wanna bring a brand new product into the market, I'm gonna show you some tips and ideas on how the best way to do that is for your first listing and some things to look for as far as headline and images and uh, description. So again, so if I'm gonna go list a brand new product, I'm gonna create a new product listing right here. And I'm gonna follow the steps here. So it's gonna have me uh, pick a category, pick a subcategory, and a subcategory beyond that. So let's just say I'm doing a pet supply, do it for cats, and we'll say cat bed, cat bed liner. So cat, yeah, bed liners for cats. <laughs> and here where it says product ID, this is where we're gonna put uh, UPC or EAN, uh, ISBN, uh, some kind of identifying number uh, now for UPC, that's where they would be the standard UPC barcode number. That's for United States products. Um, Europe has their own version of that. And, uh, you know, ISBN, that's usually for books. 
So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a uh, number here for a UPC and then where you put the product name, this is where you're going to put the title, very important part of your product. And I'm going to show you here in a little bit uh, the proper titles that, uh, you know, a good example of a title, good example of, like I said, a description, uh, et cetera. So you're going to put the title here, you're going to have a keyword rich. So, you know, you want to make sure that you use keywords that people are already searching for that where you uh, can enter yourself into the marketplace. I'm just going to put in here uh, as an example, uh, cat uh, liner and the brand name doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just call it cat liner brand and manufacturer. So you just put the manufacturer name there. Okay. And once that's done, you're going to click save and finish and you're ready to go. Okay. So once you've entered your vital information in, now it's asking for your variations. Uh, if you're going to have variations with the product, uh, it used to be that you'd have to do a whole thing to create variations of a product, but it looks like they make it a lot easier now. Uh, offer, this is where you are uh, gonna put the price of it and you're gonna put your SKU and then your condition. And then the images, this is one of the most important parts. You know, a lot of people make their buying decisions on Amazon of a, a product based on the images. So you're gonna load your images in here. You just click choose file and then you upload your images into there. Um, and now I want to show you an example of once a product is finished, a good example of a good product, uh, you know, has um, good images, has good description, uh, et cetera, et cetera, good headlines. So I'm looking at this product right here and uh, they've done a great job of creating, as you can see, the headline, the title has a lot of keywords in it, metal meat claws. Stainless steel meat forks with wooden handle, best meat claws for shredding, pulling, handling, lifting and serving pork, turkey, chicken, brisket. And uh, so some good keywords there that people are gonna be searching for, you know, that most likely uh, this product is gonna pull up because, you know, if they're looking for something like that, this product will be right in that general area. Now look at the, uh, the images that they've used. Uh, they've done a great job with the photography, nice images. Um, and then this is what I like too, is that they're using the images in action. So that helps get an idea of the customer of what it's going to be like when they actually have the product in their hands. You know, a lot of it is not just what it is uh, physically, but how does it feel? You know, people make a lot of their buying decisions based on feeling and by showing the, the image, they can see themselves do, using the product and that really helps. So they, it feels like uh, it's something that is tangible. And so they've done a great job of using images here and, and showing it in use. And they show it with some really nice looking food too. So, you know, when you do something like that, it makes, it almost makes a, it's almost like putting a beautiful model next to a car, you know, uh, helps the car look better. The, uh, the headlines did a great job. They put a star here, premium high quality stainless steel bar claw. Uh, compare so they're comparing with what the other people are saying and you know that's one thing that you could do is you can uh, look at what um, the other competition is doing and you know if you find that the competition a lot of the competition is saying that a product uh, you know it has a particular problem with it and you step in there and say hey you don't have to worry about that problem I've solved the problem with this product and they've done that right there in the first headline uh, or with the first uh, bullet point they also have uh, dishwasher safe, easy to clean. So they're talking about uh, the benefits of the product instead of the features. You know, you wanna think benefits, not features. You know, how is it actually useful and helpful to somebody instead of, you know, what's of interest to you, maybe the product owner, but what's of interest to them, the customer. And again, so they've done a great job of putting in the description here, and this helps as well as far as getting the product to, you know, rank better. More sales on Amazon equals more a better, better rank on the product because it basically triggers the al algorithm inside Amazon to suggest this product to more people who'd be interested in buying it. I hope this video gives you more clarity and confidence to list your first product on Amazon. If you have any questions or need more details and information, we're happy to help. Click the link below to get connected with us and don't forget to download our free mini course. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. 
And if you want additional help or additional resources, be sure to join our free Facebook group, which is in the description below. We'll see you on the next video.